In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get better at Monza for your league races, my team races, etc. by showing you this hot lap with some telemetry data. So let's get straight into this video. Okay then guys, so the final corner is very, very simple. You just want to take it like how you would normally and then just get your foot on the throttle, use all the track if you, if you want to. And then you're starting a lap here at Monza. Turn one is very, very far away from the start finishing line straight. So you want to open up DRS and it really allows you to prepare for this corner. You're going to be traveling at the fastest speeds that you will possibly be traveling on a Formula 1 calendar on this game. I believe around about 350 kilometers is where you end up clocking in. And then around about 120 meters or so, so around about here is where you want to slam onto the brakes. And it's super, super important, guys, that you, you break in a straight line if you're not using ABS because you will lock up and you will go wide. So you want to break in a straight line for the heavy part of this braking zone. Um, eighth gear of course since you'll be traveling so quickly uh, then you want to shift down into third gear for this corner and right after right around about right around about here when you get to this light green patch is where you really want to start turning into this corner it's a it's a chicane so you do want to kind of sacrifice the first corner so that you can make the second quarter better so third gear as i said before breaking um in this year's game obviously bottoming out is a lot different um you can use the curbing if you so choose to with like 11 six wings for example uh, not 11.6 wings, 11.6 right height. Wouldn't recommend it though, so just use the curb like this pretty much. Just um, putting your right hand tires over the curb. And then you want to stay in third gear for this next corner. Once again, this is the corner that you really need to get right because you're going straight down to turn four here or turn three, whichever one they call it. So you want to you want to make sure that you get the best exit out of this corner. Do not touch the curbing because it can either send you out wide or just unsettle the car a little bit, which will lose you time. So try and miss that. And then this outside curbing, you don't want to hit it. It will unsettle the tires as you're trying to get into uh, on, the, on the traction, I should say. And you're going to lose time all the way down. So you want to make sure that your traction is on the tarmac only. And then you have this, which is, I think t I think they call this turn three. Obviously, it's not a turn in, in a Formula 1 car these days because it's completely flat. And then you've got turn four, which is pretty much the most inconsistent corner on F122. Esports drivers saying it. I'm saying it, this corner is ridiculously inconsistent. Breaking at 100 meters uh, in a straight line down into fourth gear. Now what I tend to do for this corner is you can miss the initial curbing here, uh, the turn four, uh, which would probably be the most consistent way. Um, but what I tend to do is I tend to at least ride my left hand tires over the curbing. Uh, that seems to be quite consistent with not uh, completely just launching the car. And then in fourth gear still, you want to miss this second orange uh, sausage curb here and have the tires at closest around about here. And then you can use all of the track on the exit here. You want to pretty much have your tires on that small green patch that you can see on the outside of the track here. And then you pretty much want to bring the car back onto the tarmac. And that's how you get past the most inconsistent corner in Formula 1, uh, at least on the game. And I'd like to thank all the people on screen for being channel members. If you guys want to support the content and get extra content that nobody else is getting, make sure to click the join button to learn more. For this next corner now in Sector 2, these corners are pretty tricky, especially since um, you're going to be carrying a lot of speed in them, and especially the second one is quite tight. But going into this, um, I think roughly about 40 meters, so around about here is when you want to tap the brakes. So you want to be quite light on the brakes. Downshift into fifth gear. And then you want to be as close to the curbing without touching it as possible. Get your foot back onto for all smoothly. And then use all the track possible on the exit here. You pretty much want to have your right hand tires near or on the white line. And then bring the car back onto the tarmac. Uh, this next corner now, I usually break 50 meters. 50 meters, um, you can break a little bit later than that, but I tend to break a little bit earlier so I can get on the throw earlier and carry that speed all the way down to Ascari. Breaking on the 50 or just after the 50, in fifth gear, you want to keep in fifth gear, I think. No, you might be going into this in sixth gear, sorry, and then you downshift into fifth gear, but you, if you're in fifth gear, just keep it like that. Um, you can ride over this green patch if you want to. I tend to try and miss it whenever I can and then just use all the uh, curbing on the exit there. And then pretty much just DRS all the way down to Ascari. That's pretty much sector two uh, done. Very similar to uh, the first corner. You've got quite a bit of time to really prepare for this next corner. Now Ascari, you pretty much want to send it in qualifying. In the race, you're not going to send it. Obviously, you're on harder compound of tires, so you want to be a little bit more careful. But in qualifying, you want to absolutely send it. Breaking after the 100 meter board, pretty much 
once you get to the uh, Rolex sign here on the right hand side. Break in 8th gear, downshift into 5th gear uh, quickly, use all the track on the entry and then just, yeah, just send this corner, just absolutely send it. Um, you don't obviously want to go over the white line with the right hand tyres or else you invalidate, but you want to be as close to it as possible. Then on the exit of that corner, you're going to be on this green patch here with your left hand tires pretty much right next to the white line. You want to basically hold the car around about here. You don't want to be hitting those sausage curbs. So you really have a fine line between uh, the curbing and that sausage curb here that you want to place the car. This is where you'll gain the most time. Then come off of the curbing. Then just, just about miss this uh, left hand curb here. And then just use all the, just use all the exit here on the track. And then you just bomb it down to, I can't remember what they call this corner now, but it used to be called Parabolica. And this corner is a very, very fast corner, easy to mess up because you're thinking, oh, I'm on a great lap, I'm on a great lap, I need to get this right. You want to be careful with this corner and just take it as easy as possible. In qualifying, you can break super late. You can break pretty much in between the green patch and the 50. Um, down into fifth gear for this corner. You can use sixth if you so choose to. And then just... You know, hit the apex, start getting your foot on the throttle, use all the track around about here on the exit and then bring the car back over to the right hand side for the end of the lap. That is pretty much a lap at Monza. So what I'll do now is I will show you the hot lap that I managed to get. Sadly, it's not recorded in the same way that I usually do. I accidentally forgot to record when I was actually going for the lap, but you guys will be able to see how I tackle this circuit. Okay then guys, so that is how you improve at Monza on F122. I highly recommend that you guys go out and try what I've taught you here. Make sure to come back to this tutorial by the way, and let me know how much time you were able to gain thanks to this track guide. So now I have two options for you guys. You can either click here. Now this will take you to a video that I've done recently, or if you're watching this later on, at the time of recording this quite recently, where I showed you the difference between a good lap and a great lap at Spain. You're definitely going to want to check that out. So even once you've mastered this circuit, this is only one out of like 23 tracks on the game. And this is where the second option comes in. Click here to go to my playlist of all the track guides that I've done on F122 up until this point. And that's pretty much it. You can either click here or here and I'll see you guys in my next video.